shout it out because we're going to be touching the skyline because we are, well, more like he is, your tomorrow, <laughs> your next host, going solo for Melody Festival in 2018, David Lingreen. That was amazing introduction. I was waiting for it. But David, last year you were hosting with two other co-hosts. Yeah. You made some memorable moments. Uh, you think? Thank you. There's that, well, the kiss with Robin Benson. <laughs> yeah. The <laughs> Full kiss. tongue, the kiss. <laughs> There's actually a video on YouTube where they loop it for 57 minutes. Have you what? seen this? No. You have to look it up. But looking back, how do you feel about your job as a host at the Last Melody Festival? Uh, you know, I had so much fun doing it. Uh, I felt like I like landed as an artist and, and as a host. I found my place and, uh, uh, you know, it was like the first time in my career that I felt that I was on the right spot. I, I really enjoyed it. So when they asked me if I want to do it again, I was like, uh, when and where and how? I, yes. Well, we're happy to have you back. And like I said, another memorable moment was when you did the Melody Festival in Medley. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and you finished off with the showing your Papa's crop. Yeah. So for those that are not so into the Swedish language, what is a Papa's crop? It's a dad bud. It comes from the English word dad bud. It's, uh, it's a guy who's been working out some and uh, then you get kids and you don't have the energy and uh, you don't do it anymore and you, you eat more candy and stuff. But now my kids are older. I'm starting to work out again. I don't know if you can tell, but these Bitch. some mad abs uh, right there. <laughs> uh, no, but that was it. Was so much fun doing that number. We talked about it a lot, how to do it, and uh, I actually started to cry when I was done afterwards. It was like, yes, it worked. It was amazing, and when I, I felt the love from the audience there. It was one and of from the international moments. viewers because on YouTube, I think that's racked up over two million yeah, views. Yeah, yeah, I heard that. It's amazing. It's crazy. I think my kids saw it one million times. So. <laughs> Well, and then, then it's <laughs> all the other fans, yeah, we split it between ourselves. But this year you're going solo. Yeah. So are you a little bit more scared about this prospect? Uh, no, not really, actually. Uh, I feel like it's so... Uh, it's cool that SVT really thinks that I can do it by myself. I think it's cocky from them to like, yeah, we're trusting David, he's going to do this. Uh, so I feel comfortable and with, uh, with Sunil, the new director, we talked a lot. He has uh, nice ideas, I have some good ideas. And uh, the thing that's maybe easier is that I'm alone. So, so what do you want to do as an opening? Then I can only think about myself, like I would like to do this, I would like to do that. I would look. So th it, that way it's more easy. But on the other hand, you know, all this time we had together, me, Claude and Hasse, it was really nice, you know, bonding and, and yeah, we had a lot of fun. But um, I love pushing myself, uh, see what I can handle. And uh, to be honest, to be alone, it's, it's a big kick. It's going to feel pretty awesome, actually. Well, we're excited to see what's coming. Yeah. Um, last time you were quite busy with Jersey Boys leading up to that. Yeah. What have you been up to in the past year? Uh, I did this uh, summer tour, Digi Luit's call in Sweden, and uh, then I've been, I've been doing a lot of host jobs, you know, on uh, um, when companies have parties and stuff. So that's a new thing for me. It's been a lot of fun, and now I'm going to do a Christmas tour called Christmas Night uh, around Sweden, and then I have two weeks off over Christmas, and then we start with this full time. So it's pretty much a lot of work hosting, especially solo. <laughs> yeah. Um, is there like a song that you really want to do? Like, is there yes. something, which song? Uh, I don't, I don't want to tell you. Okay, so we'll have to stay tuned to yeah. see what song that's going to be. But Sunil, he, he, he mailed me, oh, look at this song. I think you should do this song as an opening. I was like, are you kidding with me? I was just listening to it. I love it. That's so, awesome. We'll, that, we'll have to wait and see yeah. until next year to see what's yeah. going to come up. And, uh, you know, we always see a lot of returning contestants. Yeah. Uh, some even past Eurovision winners. Yeah. Who would you like to see back at the Melody oh, Festival? In? Good question. Uh, really nice. Um, it's always fun, you know, with those big, like, uh, Charlotte was back yesterday, last year and uh, Lorraine, you know. So if Carola or someone with that, that's always fun, you know, because you have so much relationship to that kind of artist. But then I really enjoyed those new ones that really comes, like Nano last year, he really took his spot. He, he, Absolutely. Because that's that's the one that no one's talking about and before and then they're like boom the ones that come out of nowhere yeah, and I just love hit that. hard yeah that's amazing yeah. well you know who's on my list yeah no. you you <laughs> so are you ever gonna come back to Melody Festival and as a contestant uh, you never know I still have a dream that I'm gonna be Sweden's uh, like in your vision it would be really cool 
but we'll see. We'll see. Well, I always say. But then I need, you know, if I, if I'm gonna do that again yeah. in a couple of years, I need that, you know, I need that hero song that Mons had, you know, when everything. An amazing hit. song. And amazing, you maybe know, when working every, with a family. Yeah, maybe. Who knows? Throwing you know, it out there. Yeah, throwing it out there. <laughs> now, but you know, then I really like. Yeah. Everything needs to be right timing. And you'll feel it. Everything has to all yeah, align and you'll exactly. get the feeling. And then and you get the story behind the song. You yeah. get relationship to it, you know. And maybe yeah. we'll see that happen. But Maybe or maybe you don't. I'm really happy to be where I am, actually. And we're happy to have you for six weeks in a row again oh, on Melody Festival. You. Because, you know, uh, David Lindgren not being at <laughs> Melody Festival is like having no presence at Christmas. <laughs> so I guess we've all been very nice this year because yeah. Santa has brought us an early Christmas gift. For six weeks. For six weeks. We're excited to see you. <laughs> oh, we'll see you next you. on February 3rd in Karlstad for yeah. the first semifinal. It's going to be so much fun. Awesome. Thank, thank you. you.